And let's focus on our major story of the day. The People's Democratic Party, Nigeria's main opposition party, the PDP, said they are very sorry. The party, which was in power at the center for 16 years, says it will increase efforts to win back the trust of Nigerians and also win back power come 2019. The national chairman of the People's Democratic Party, which is Secundus, made this assertion at the public discourse on contemporary politics in Nigeria held in Abuja, the nation's capital. The event dwelled mainly on how prepared the PDP is in terms of delivering a worthy candidate and changing the agenda in the area of governance. We can't continue as a nation of lies. What are we going to give to our children? And on behalf of my colleagues and members of this party, we apologize to Nigerians that we have made our mistakes and we are ready and we to correct them. It was all part of an evolution process, what we went through, without which there can be no maturity. And I believe at 20, PDP is more matured. All right, then, let's get the conversation started. Well, the, the national chairman of the party, Uche Sekundo, has also said the ruling of Progressive Congress APC has resorted to blackmail, intimidation, and a selective in their fight against corruption. The PDP said APC has failed Nigerians. We'll make reference to the areas they highlighted in the course of our conversation tonight. So let's get started, everyone, shall we? So joining us from Abuja is a national coordinator and chairman of the Buhari Media Office, Mr. Austin Bur Thank you so much for your time this evening. It was a thumbs down at that event for the APC-led government. And in fact, picking at strategic sectors of the Nigerian life, the PDP had punctured what would have been perhaps the success story of the APC. Let's begin with the issues of corruption. The PDP says that uh, the APC has failed woefully by failing to prosecute her own officials indicted for corruption. Any defense of all these kind of allegations against your party? Thank you, Shil. It's a very pleasant evening, particularly with the information that PDP is apologizing to Nigerians. And I think that is a good beginning. They have not started apologizing yet. They will do restitution. Nigerians need them to restitute for their past atrocities in the last 16 years. Then now coming to the issue of prosecuting corruption. Um, you, you, you agree with me, and Nigerians know that we have never had it so good. We're talking about prosecuting corrupt officials. No government in this country has ever arraigned senior military officers, defense chiefs, no any, any, any president or any government, even when EFCC was set, set up, under the very distinguished leadership of Nuri Badu, apart from uh, convicting an inspector general of police, they never arraigned a senior military officer. It did not end there. No government has recovered as much looted funds as this government has recovered from, uh, from criminals, let me put it that way. And I also want to make it clear that there is a shift of emphasis in issue of prosecuting corrupt cases in this regime. This government will not want to fall into the same trap. I am not speaking for government, but as a, as a support body of this government, I can say authoritatively that with the set, setting up of PACAP to advise the courts, there is an emphasis in recovery rather than jailing. They were not going to make the same mistake as the last government that jailed an official that embezzled $27 billion, uh, for for two years and was asked to refund two, two, two million. And at the end of the day, if the official had gone to prison, he will return after a year and start All to right. enjoy... Let, let me quickly, billion. because the that areas... Sorry, just a moment, if I could butt in, because there is no time so much to talk about, so it would be good if we hit the, the nail on the head at the, at the time that we need to. There are a lot of areas that the PDP touched on today. True or false? on some of these areas are the reasons why we want you to talk on these areas. So, for example, the a PDP today said that APC has failed on its promises to Nigeria. So the question will be, do you think the APC government perhaps uh, has not been able to achieve what he uh, set out to achieve 
when uh, he was conversing for power in 2015.